This is the proportional solenoid valve of the main pump, which is installed on the valve seat between P1 pump and P2 pump. According to the engine speed signal collected by the excavator ECU, it changes the current of the solenoid valve in real time to match the power of the engine and the hydraulic system. On the one hand, it ensures that the engine power will not be reduced. On the other hand, it makes full use of the engine power to ensure the working speed of the excavator. The excavator engine power knob has 10 gears, and the working current of each gear is relatively constant. The operating current range of the proportional solenoid valve is approximately 0 to 700 mA. During power regulation, the proportional solenoid valve of the main pump meets the power of the excavator in different working modes and gears according to different working currents. Take an example to explain the working principle of proportional solenoid valve. When the excavator suddenly encounters a high load, the regulator does not have time to control the rapid reduction of the flow of the main pump, which may suddenly reduce the excavator power and shut down. At this time, when the ECU knows that the engine speed is lower than the specified speed of the throttle knob through the engine speed sensor. It immediately controls the operation of the proportional solenoid valve and uses the pilot pressure to quickly reduce the flow of the main pump to ensure that the engine will not shut down due to the sudden reduction of power. Let's look at the structure of proportional solenoid valve. The solenoid valve is composed of adjusting screw, small spring, solenoid coil, valve core, valve core spring, and the valve sleeve. If the solenoid is open or short-circuited, the solenoid valve will not work properly. And if the valve core is stuck, the solenoid valve will not be working as well. There are two check valves on the back of the proportional solenoid valve seat. If the check valve is damaged or installed reversely, the oil supply of the proportional solenoid valve will be affected, which may lead to a rapid decrease in the power of the excavator engine.